think when I said that, it pissed her off, and she's like, okay, well, I have the best customer service in the deli, so you can go and tell my manager if you want, but I don't care. And I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. I'm not going to tell your manager. So what's up, guys? Sanitary in the car. Got done with my leg workout. Went at 7 o'clock in the morning again. A little tired, but overall good. It's about 825. I got to head back pretty soon, hit the showers, have a shake, and get my day going. Uh, the house situation, you know, I'm almost a month in to our new house, and it's a pretty long process. I, you know, I was planning on cutting and pulling all the weeds from the front yard and the back, and it just got a little overwhelming. I was able to take down a couple, but just hired a gardener to remove that. They're doing that right now, so I want to check it out when I get back. We're still in the process of getting uh, furniture because you don't want to, well, there are return policies, but... When you get something, you wanna you don't want to have to return it, and especially like big items and whatnot. But anyway, um, reason why I want to do this video is something uh, a little interesting happened yesterday. So I went to a local grocery store. You know, since I moved to the new area, I've never been to this grocery store, and overall, the people there, the the vibe for the most part, with exception of one woman, which I'm gonna get into. Uh, very, very nice, very cordial. The uh, checker was really talkative. A lot of times, it just depends on the situation, but where I'm at in California, sometimes they don't even greet you. And I, I really don't care. I'm, I'm not there to make, you know, to make a BFF. There's uh, apps for that, you know, so to speak. So I uh, get in and out, whatever. But the checkers were nice. But anyway, I go and get, uh, or I go to the uh, fresh deli area where I like to get my fresh deli meat cut and I uh this one lady she uh takes my order and I say I want a half a pound of the um turkey it says no antibiotics that's what I prefer she counters and says would you like to try this other one and I said uh does that one have antibiotics um because I think it does if it does I'll just get this one so she kind of looks and she's trying to tell me to get the other one and I get this feeling that she doesn't want to cut up the new turkey that I want She's probably a little lazy, I'm not sure, but that's just my guess. But she, she continues to try to sell me the other slices of turkey. And I said, uh, I was polite about it. I was like, no, nah, it's okay, I just want this one. So, okay, she takes it out, she slices it. I want a half a pound, 0.5. She puts it on the scale and it's like 0.65 or something, close to 0.7, almost um, three-fourths of a pound. And that's just too much, I, I don't want that much. She proceeds to say, okay, it's a little bit over. Do you, do you still want it? And I said, uh, yeah, that's a little too much. I'm just getting a couple of, it's for a couple of sandwiches. And she just kind of snaps. She has this attitude and she looks at me and she says, I couldn't believe it. I just got caught off guard. Uh, she just goes, well, you know, quote, I don't like wasting food, okay? But if you really want to waste food or something like that, she, she says something like that then it's just food right whatever so she opens the bag she picks up the slices of turkey and she tosses it in the um trash can and i'm just like looking at her like just trying to process all this you know because sometimes you get caught off guard and i was just keeping calm and i'm just thinking in my head like man this this bitch is rude this is not much interaction i'm just trying to get deli meat 0.5 that's it give me my meat and let me get out she tosses it, she seals it up, have a nice day, and she like, kind of slams it on the counter. I grab it, I walk away, my wife's in the, getting some eggs or something. I just walk away and I was kind of ticked off, but kind of taken aback. Go to my wife, I said, man, this lady was rude. And she's like, what the heck? Were you able to get a name? I was like, you know what? I am going to get a name. So I go back, she sees me, she kind of avoids me. And I just go right up to her and I say, excuse me? I don't appreciate your attitude. She's like, okay. She's kind of like calm. I said, I'm just here to get deli meat. I wanted half a pound of turkey and you gave me over, you know, 0.67 or whatever it was. I don't like wasting food as well. But if you're that concerned about wasting food, you know what you do? You undercut, you slice a little bit less and then you weigh it. And if it goes 0.3, you add a few slices and then you weigh it and it gets to 0.4, point, you know, 0 0.45, 0 0.46. And she just looked at me and she was just like, okay, okay. And I couldn't tell if she was being sarcastic or taking it on the chin. I thought initially she was taking it on the chin. And then after that, I retracted back a little bit and I said, 
if you're having a bad, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm just letting you know. If you're having a bad day, everyone does. And I think when I said that, it pissed her off. And she's like, okay, well, I have the best customer service in the deli. So you can go and tell my manager if you want, but I don't care. And I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. I'm not going to tell your manager. What's your name? And I look and conveniently her tag is not is not there. I keep looking. I said, what's your name? What's your name? She went, she's like, my name's right here. And she points to her chest and there's no name tag. And then my wife was in the background. She's like, why don't you just take a picture of her face or something? I was like, whatever. I just walked away. And most people would just say, walk away and it's not really worth it. You know, there's more things to worry about. But for me, it's just, she may do this to other people. She may have done, she probably has done this to other people. And I'm not going to stand for it because if she does this to other people, mo most people are not confrontational. I'm not that confrontational. But if I see someone that's being rude right to my face, I'm going to call you out on it. Is it going to change anything? I don't know. I have no idea. I asked for customer service. I asked to speak to the manager, and they were really polite, and they knew. I didn't get a name. I said, it was this lady with, in the deli, and they're like, which one? The other guy is like, oh, is it the one with that looks like so-and-so? And then I was like, yes, and they're like, okay, yeah. So they kind of like almost acknowledged it like uh, they knew who it was. They're like, I'll speak to her. Sorry about that. And I told them, I was like, this is my first time at this location. I'd, you know, I actually liked the location. It was quiet. But one bad apple caused all this uh, stupidity and ruckus. So am I going to go back there? I, I should have had uh, my uh, wife uh, film it. So it should be kind of interesting. Part two, if possible. I'm not here to cause trouble. There's no interaction. I'm just there. I want my meat. And that's it. If, it was, if I wanted 0.5 and it was like 0.52 or something, I'll just take it. But, you know, like if I asked for a pound of meat and you gave me one and a quarter pound and i'm already spending a lot of money spending money on a premium product i don't want it that's my right it's my right to want what i want so that's not asking for much so whatever she's obviously having a bad day she's got some issues going on it's a friday night she probably doesn't have anything going on she's stuck but that's it i've encountered rude people before it's probably it's not the first time it won't be the last gotta get back see you later bye